What's up YouTube, uh, welcome back to Flying Dutchman Videos, uh, this is Rick bringing you a let's play of Bioshock Infinite Just came out uh, Yesterday, I believe Technically yesterday About 10 minutes to 12 actually, so not technically released on the 26th, but here we go, this is uh, this is the first sequence of the game and probably one you've seen already where Booker makes his way uh, up to the lighthouse. Keep that uh, that name just uh, that just appeared on the screen in mind because uh, Lutetia or whatever her name is is going to be a fairly important character in the game. I don't think I've actually met her yet, but so you expect me to show What's this? The she seems to be fairly heavily involved with what I think these two people are. Coming here was your idea. My idea. I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing. No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? So yeah, we share a book as knowing could fail. Foundment at his uh, has where he finds himself in. Because uh, a former Pinkerton agent was heavily in debt and has been commissioned or more or less forced to bring a girl, Elizabeth, back from uh, Colombia to New York. And the uh, implication is that if he fails, he'll get killed. But the thing is, well, to get to Elizabeth, he's getting to get in real danger of getting killed anyway so damned if you do damned if you don't so we have arrived at the lighthouse and well the gameplay connections are immediately clear to uh, the last two Bioshocks which obviously started at a lighthouse as well I'm not sure if Bioshock 2 did I think, yeah I'm pretty sure it did Just, uh, you can rip me a new one in the comments if I'm wrong on that but I think it did Hey. Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stuck. And off they go. Well, maybe there's someone inside. It's not the best looking game out there, but it is very atmospheric. Like they managed to do that very well. Like oh look it makes you forget about that like how that the game sometimes doesn't look entirely up to snuff, which is it? Which is a good thing in my mind. Which you'll see when we get to Colombia, it just looks incredible. So, like previous Bioshocks, there's um, resources everywhere. You can pretty much just steal and scrunch together Excuse anything me. you want. It's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? It's a very uh, heavy religious and, and, well, as we'll see later, uh, racial overtone in the game. I haven't progressed far enough for it to, like, get ham fisted or anything, but, like, I I hope they don't go over to that side. Like, it shouldn't be too heavy. Like, get some more uh, silver eagles, which is the currency in this game. Find some food. As we continue up the stairs, more uh, quotes here? from the Bible, or Hello? I don't know, maybe not from the Bible, but definitely with a religious undertone. Uh, a map on the wall with what seems to be uh, what seems to be Colombia's route across the United States. Apparently, uh, someone was supposed to probably stop us from uh, getting up there. As opposed to the first Bioshock, there's actually land around this uh, this lighthouse. Well, that put an end to the plans of stopping us. Shit. 
someone really wanted to stop us from getting up there and someone or something really wanted us to get up there. This obviously leads you to the conclusion that this Elizabeth chick is pretty important. And obviously she is. <laughs> That's what we find out fairly soon into the game, but I won't spoil that yet. Well, you'll see that when we get to it. There's a little puzzle here to which you uh, already know the answer. Just walk around to that door on the other side with the light. We need to ring these bells in a certain pattern, and we already have the solution to that. that card. Which Booker now proudly displays. <laughs> And this is where st uh, things start to get weird. What in the world is I assume that's uh, Columbia signaling the lighthouse. This is our ticket up there. It's an innocuous looking chair up there. Alright. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. What could go possibly wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Weird order. <laughs> it's a rocket. Seems entirely legit from a for a game that this <laughs> is set in 1912. This is pretty much like the reverse of the diving bell in, in Bioshock. Instead of going down, you go up. Hallelujah. Welcome to Colombia. A lot of floating stuff around here. <laughs> And we get introduced to what seems to be the main antagonist of the game so far, uh, Zachary Hill Comstock, founder and apparent prophet of Colombia. It's very cinematographic uh, introduction scene, really just keeps going for like a couple of minutes until you get really get introduced up close to uh, to Colombia which is like one of the best pieces of game design I've, I've seen in a while it just it's pretty incredible actually I just hope they'll be able to like keep the quality up for the rest of the game because that was really something Just, it's just really reminiscent of the first Bioshock in a very good way, and but it's just, but doesn't copy the tone that game set. Just immediately sets its own identity and like pretty much tells you what Colombia is about. So we've arrived in some kind of catacombs, uh, unarmed. Don't know where we are, and don't know where we need to go. So <laughs> that's gone well. As you can see, uh, Comstock fashions himself somewhat of a prophet. 
and knowing that you immediately know where this is going to go like Colombia is a bit of a cult like it's what happens when you take uh, American patriotism and like civil patriotism or civil nationalism and turn it into something religious almost like uh, what happened in, in fascist uh, Germany and Italy almost They claimed they wanted liberty and like this was the ideal America and instead they ended up perverting it. So I guess is is like si very similar to what happened in in, um, in Bioshock with the uh, the Randian ideals of like the uh, I'm not that at home and that kind of stuff, but like the kind of society Ayn Rand uh, proposed. That's what. Rapture was, and that's how it like that's how it unraveled. And that's pretty much the same here, from the looks of it, at least. Gotta find the exit out of this place. It's worth noting that, as far as we know, Booker DeWitt is Excuse not me. a thing, uh, like Jack from the first Bioshock. We'll there is a, a kind of uh, undertone that he's here for a reason other than uh, getting forced into retrieving Elizabeth well f at least that's what I theorized so far like knowing uh, what those two people that rode us into the lighthouse uh, come from and their possible link to uh, the woman that created Columbia and who experimented with uh, quantum mechanics then there's a there's a like there's a clue that Booker is here for other reasons and he was brought here of Someone manipulated the events to bring him here. Is there for a redeemer? Don't know if they they're actually going to like capitalize on that or build that out, but that's what I think so far. So I think that although the game looks kind of cartoony, these these faces look really good. It's very cathedral-like structure. This. And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Constant. We recommit through sacrifice it's beautiful design, and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet had struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the sodden bin, is it someone new, someone from the sodden below, newly come to Columbia to be watered clean before our our founders and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. <laughs> Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? So it yeah, seems <laughs> we need to undergo baptism prior to entry. Glory be, glory be. Only uh, this priest may hey. not be all that, uh, all that well-meaning. As we'll in find out in a couple of seconds. In the name of our founders and the name of our Lord. <laughs> I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Seems like uh, we almost came to a premature end of the adventure there, but obviously. You and I know Booker is obviously still alive. Who's there? Bring us the curb. Yeah, there are a couple of these uh, flashback scenes in the want? game, which uh, I've not figured out yet uh, how they uh, work right into the story. But I told you. It does tell you a bit about uh, what what was going on in Booker's life prior to uh, his coming to Colombia. I haven't I haven't even noticed this while playing the game, but obviously that's Colombia attacking New York, which. <laughs> Could be a dark vision of the future, or at least uh, something that could happen if Comstock gets his way. So we have arrived in in 
Colombia's uh, upper levels. That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. And this is where we get our first taste of the uh, the cult that is Colombia society, which rever uh, reveres America's founding fathers as as mythical, almost God sent uh, prophets. To Father Jefferson, a scroll. So that Eden might have laws that set her above all other so Obviously, nations. George Washington uh, and Jefferson. So each year we recommit ourselves to our founders uh, and our prophet, Father Comstock. And, and recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father, Father Comstock. Comstock. So that we may follow in the prophet's path. Amen. Amen. Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. Apparently crazy people like getting drowned. Yeah. He who crossed the Delaware. The prayer to George Washington, that seems kind of nuts. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt, so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington. Hear my prayer. Paragon of virtue, a rebel against ignorance and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. By the sword, sword and, and the, the scroll, scroll and, the, and key. the key. Amen. Amen. There's no chance, no luck, only providence. And that you see its divine hand at work, you discern the transmundane. Your inspiration and imagination transcend mere science and open our eyes to the mystery. Father Franklin. So those three founding prayer. fathers are revered as almost just biblical the figures. Flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. Obviously, Booker right. thinks that's just an so isolated case, but as we'll see, it not at all. So that's been our introduction to Colombia. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video continuing our Let's Play of Bioshock Infinite.